unfortunately junction 2 is cancelled um just got that news in earlier on today actually via email which was always a bad thing in it but hey what can you do this is an interesting development i think because of the dates i would assume the fact that because i'm sure it's not it's a it is it's a park so i'm assuming they'd have to set up especially a public park they'd have to set up shop maybe a couple of weeks maybe a month in advance right in Boston manor so that would require so even though it's, it's in june it would require them setting up probably or getting things sorted before the end of april or maybe i don't know maybe not april maybe maybe the middle of may that would require them to set up everything and get things you know make sure they've got all the necessary equipment i don't know maybe that's or maybe just in general they don't have the hat the construction people to set up everything which i don't think it's true i think mostly it's just a a maintenance thing right i'd assume so but who knows but this is a post from junction team who kind of you know uh lay out the letter of the law and what's actually going on i think they mentioned they had a bit of an impasse with the local council but let's read the entire i forgot what they said so fifth anniversary first of all postponed until june 21 so it's fifth, fifth anniversary i never knew that right so until next year um so june 2021 so following in-depth discussions with the local council and emergency services, we have decided to postpone Junction 2's 5th anniversary to the 4th and 5th of June next summer. We plan to replicate the lineup like for like, um, which is great news, I guess, mostly because it shows that they've obviously cultivated a good reputation, reputation with the promoters, with, sorry, with the booking people, with the booking agents and the artists themselves. I think mostly if you didn't like the event and you didn't want to go and this happened, you would probably be a good time to kind of get out of it i don't know fuck that i'm not gonna do it next year but a lot of people have a good lot to say about it um junction and houghton get a lot of good reviews a lot of good feedback from the artists that actually play there especially some of the more jaded ones who are always a bit bitter about what's happening in the scene they usually always have good things to say about junction too so that is obviously a good thing for them um it says uh we have spent recent weeks extensively exploring the option of moving the festival to a later date however given the government's position with emergency services uh may not support major events combined with the strain that it will place on our public services over the coming months it would be impos- irresponsible for us to risk uh, adding any additional burden to nhs and emergency service which is really good because i think there is has been a bit of an assault on the nhs prior to the tory government being re-elected or prior to judge to Boris johnson being re-elected uh or being elected in the first place and the kind of tide has turned a little bit since the pandemic people are a little bit more understanding a little bit symptomatic they have a lot more goodwill towards people working in the NHS. so to put this event on with the amount of um police force that's needed to kind of make sure it doesn't you know go crazy medical departments and for the most part you know if you've ever been to a, a festival in london you'll know that you know london people are the worst at pacing they're the worst at taking it easy in places they go way too hard and you know they actually do exhaust the resources when it comes to medical services so there's a good call in that one but if you read in between the lines there is a little bit of, of me that thinks they were willing to put it on if they were able to get the okay from the local government i mean from the council and from the government in terms of having the reassurances that they would have a medical team on site willing and able to help them I think the fact that they weren't able to confirm that made because if they wanted to they probably could get a private clinic to sponsor it and do something with them maybe i'm not too sure legally if that's a it's that something that you can do with a public event or the pub event in a public space even if ticket or not i'm not too sure but there is a part of me that's like they probably could have put it on if they got the okay but then they probably didn't want to go through with it because they didn't want the bad stick or the you know ruin the reputation for the sake of a weekend and you just postpone it to next year um again it depends you would view it as cancelling if it's next year maybe it's postponing but i still think it's postponing i think doing it any other time apart from june especially in london is just asking for trouble um the weather will turn on you in a dime you know we have a general saying here in london that you don't ever you never you don't ever not go out without some kind of hoodie some kind of scarf or hoodie or woolly hat because you never know what's going to happen so that's probably a good option in terms of you know trying to imagine if they try to put it on in july and then suddenly you know a tsunami hit um, then you'll be really pissed off. So that's probably a good idea. And it continues here. So we like to take this opportunity to express our deepest appreciation and respect for those um, confronting this emergency. We would also like to thank everyone for their phenomenal support shown to Johnson too. This summer's installment was set to be the most successful with the strongest lineup of in our history. We definitely agree with that one. The majority of tickets already sold. We have spent the last five years working to build junction two 
up to the much loved event that it is today. To not see the effect of the anniversary come to fruition had been extremely tough. However, as the well being of our staff, crew, and artists and attendees are number one priority, there's no alternative for us to book than to postpone, which I definitely agree with. And kudos to them for taking that decision because no, not everyone's doing that. So props to them. We look forward to seeing you all next June when we will return stronger than before. Uh, by holding on to the ticket of 2021 festival, you'll be securing your attendance at next year's festival. You cannot join us next year. You can get a face value of your ticket refunded via the ticket outlet you purchase it from. Please contact them directly for this refund will be available until the 30th of April, which is awesome. Um, we also announced our plans to mark our June festival weekend this summer with a very special online event for the LZV. Huh. Also, okay, so that's so, so that's pretty cool. So first bit there, there isn't there is obviously an indication. I think again, I would reserve this kind of attitude or goodwill to places that you actually support and you like what they do. But I'm of the opinion if you had a ticket booked for a festival this year and they're postponing it for a later date, I would really um, advise against or encourage against kind of trying to get a refund for something that you were going to go to in the summer as a festival with your friends. Just hold on to it until. You, they confirm the new date or if it's going to be performed next year just hold on to it next year you're buying it ahead of time by the time that event swings by you'll be gracious or over the moon that you have it you never know what the demand will be like the next year things might change um, just hold on to it support the people that put these events on because if everyone floods then we'll refund requests at the same time there's no guarantee that they haven't already spent that money that they already got from the pre-sale the tickets on producing the show they're probably going to be out of pocket for having to postpone it insurance all these sort of things come in and i'm sure i haven't put on you know events on a much lower level than this i know how much money goes into putting these events and most of the time people that are doing it aren't necessarily doing it to make a buck they're usually doing it because they want to add to the legacy of the city they're from they want to just put on a fun party they've got spare cash to burn it's usually never like a money-making scheme for the most part unless you've obviously got a club and you know a relationship with the place that's different but for the most part if you're putting on these large scale events especially in london with the amount of red tape they have to go through and hoops have to jump through it probably isn't a money making scheme so if you support these guys and you like what they do they definitely hold on to a ticket and get a refund but if you can they're obviously making it really easy in terms of contacting a ticket um partner and getting that done but i also like the bit at the end about hosting an online i'm assuming a live dj stream thing with some of the people that were meant to play doing it at junction now this could be a great idea because it allows people to kind of you know have some level of fun in their house with it and also could be good because you never know what the climate will be like by the end by the beginning of june right it could be a totally different climate that we're in they might be able to imagine they are able to live stream it and instead of going to the festival you can maybe go to the pub again and someone plays it in their pub via the tv screens or whatever that would be pretty cool um there's loads of different avenues someone might host it someone might do hosting parties around their house people might come over when the kind of um the stip the guidelines are, are kind of lessened and softened a little bit there's loads of scope there so i really like the idea and hopefully we'll get to see what that lineup will look like in terms of who they can kind of rope in to do it because of course you know it's a quite a busy time period obviously they have the benefit because people are not traveling back and forth but hopefully they're able to secure some big acts that were meant to be playing there that'd be a good one but um yeah disappointing to see but obviously understandable too considering everything that's going on